Good afternoon, Stephanie Joy here, Joy Disability. Um, just a quick reminder, if you're filing for social security disability, you wanna double check that your various forms of ID um, jive, okay? So you're gonna have a social security account with the social security administration. You have a social security card. And if that's the original or a replacement and you have not changed it, that's the name under which they have you um, filed, you know, in, in, in the social security world. So you're going to need to have a driver's license, generally speaking, or a state issued photo ID with the same name. Um, and of course, the birth dates are going to have to have to match up. Sometimes um, people change their name and the rules for officially changing a social security card might be different than they used to be. Same with a driver's license. So sometimes one got changed and the other did not. And you might have a very big problem collecting your benefits when you prevail. Um, sometimes it's hard to get the application off the ground because the field office may balk at it until they see um, the connection. But sometimes it happens after. Um, so if you have a different it could be you got divorced and you changed your name, but you never changed your social security name. Sometimes just bringing your divorce decree and or marriage um, certificate is the connecting um, the connecting line. Things where you, you don't need to actually get a court order to change them. Um, but just know that, that there's going to be some connection that you're going to have to meet. If your driver's license name is different than your social security account name. So best to have that done before you prevail so you don't have to spend you know a few months hoping that works out um after you've won when you should be getting paid so take care of that business while your claim, your claim is pending at the very least if it's not already done okay anyway happy winnings to you and um i'll talk to you all later